have to sit up straighter. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Science people are nerds, and we like to name our machines. My name is Kimberly Christopoulos. I'm the senior uh, MLT here in the genetics lab at Life Labs. My name's Kate Gardner, and I'm a genetic counselor here at Life Labs. My name is Jeff Sumner, and I'm the senior vice president of business development, clinical affairs, and genetics for Life Labs. My name is Connie Lyle, and I'm the lab manager um, here at Life Labs Genetics. My name is Christopher Trevers. I am one of the directors in genetics and genomics here at Life Labs. We're all very proud, I think, of um, the work that we've done over the last couple of years to build this uh, facility. Part of our mission here really is to make uh, genetic testing much more available to all Canadians. I got a call from the oncologist saying, this patient is so sick, but I really, really feel like they could qualify for this drug. I thought, yeah, I'm gonna do this. She was so excited that she got to go and tell this woman that you qualify for this drug now. That patient actually, in a week, walked up out of that hospital bed. That's the moment where I realized personalized medicine, genetics, is where it's all at. I want to make a difference within this, what people consider complicated field. Genetics feels like it's the next big thing, but really it's here, it's now. My wife died of breast cancer at the age of 35. So both of my daughters have a 50% chance that they may carry that same mutation and they're currently waiting to decide whether they want to be tested. I think that's a fairly personal decision for them. For every terrible story, there's 10 good ones. And for many of these families, the information that we provide, although sometimes it is not always good news, without that information, they wouldn't have a decision that they could make. As a genetic counselor who's worked in clinical practice here in Canada, frequently when you call those U.S. companies, they really don't know very much about the healthcare system here. So having somebody here as a local laboratory really helps us to build uh, a healthier Canada.